Las Vegas, Nevada, the home for one of the most prestigious high roller series in the game. This is the U.S. Poker Open. Welcome to the Poker Go Studio. It is final table coverage of event number three, a 10K No Limit Hold'em tournament featuring the best of the best. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. And Brent, today, our Golden Eagle Trophy will get a pretty good view of a pretty stacked final table. Oh, stacked, you can say that again, Jeff. How about Joe McKeon Woo! with the chip lead, former WSOP main event champion, looking to take home that beautiful bird right there. Our leaderboard brought to you by Global Poker, Free Poker at its best. There is McKeon at the top. Ali Amshurovich right there, Steve Zolotow, Ray Kartumi, Justin Saliba, Jake Schindler and Barry Hutter do indeed round out our final table. They are all looking up at that man right there, Joe McKeon. You said it, he's the 2015 World Series of Poker main event champ. More than $17 million in career live tournament earnings. He's unbelievable, Jeff. We talked about it at the top of the show. His results in the high rollers speak for themselves. Look who it is, Brent. Oh, Sorry to cut baby. you off, but look who it is. Oh, Stevie Z, the man with the mustache heard around the world. Look at this guy, huh? The bald eagle, the nickname. He's inspired, he's poised. Speaking of inspired, this man's been here before. Ali Amshurovich, the 2018 Poker Masters champion, the Poker Go Tour leader, and just an absolute crusher. Yeah, the Bosnian Bandit, no surprise, Jeff, once again shows up here with a pile of chips, looking at these payouts, he wants number one. Our final seven guaranteed $38,500, about an 8K pay jump from seventh to sixth, and up top in this one, more than $200,000 and 200 points in the race for that U.S. Poker Open Series Championship. Right got Ace Jack here. Lays it down. Average stack at this point, a little more than 20 bigs. Joe McKeon, the chip leader, with the queen jack of clubs. Total. Come in for a raise. Those blue chips worth 5,000. Purple chips, 25K a piece. Yellow bumblebees worth 100K a piece. Hey, Look at McKeon, hey, just yummy, eye yummy, ray yummy. up and down. He, yummy, Joe yummy, loves yummy, yummy. to look his opponents I call it directly in the eye, watches all the motions. No fear, I'm out. Got it, baby boy. Lots of fear, I'm out. Maybe. You got it. Heads up, McKeon and Khartoumi. Huh? You want to ape out here? Did I get? Six, five, deuce, rainbow. Not really. Or Jimmy with Dover pair. Not a club on the board. Not a single Broadway ticket. I have to imagine McKeon is concerned about Khartoumi and undeterred, he's going to come after her right now. Fires a C bet. Rather healthy. One thirty. <laughs> Designed to fold out better. You hear Schindler tell Ali perhaps had a tell on Khartoumi in the first hand. Said I looked at him and thought, oh no, I'm losing. <laughs> Khartoumi's eighth still good here. What's wrong? Not yet. Right. Kind of. I always wanted to. Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine McKeon would go any further in this hand. He's hoping that continuation bet with a folded out of hand like King Queen, Ace Jack, and look at this. Yeah, here he comes. He's going for it. Two streets. A non believer. Gives Khartoumi credit for being able to float without much. Obviously, we can see that he's wrong. Pocket eights aren't going anywhere, Jeff. You see that clip from the PO tournament? Uh, there's this guy who forgot he was mic'd up. And was, like, he gets a, he, he has a flush. He's using the boat. And he won. And uh, he's walking around Jimmy over there. The call. He's like, go with Mori. And he's like, get crushed. He's one of the fingers. <laughs> it's so funny. Bro. Uh, I'll find it. It's it. Go with you later. It's so good, dude. <laughs> But he was out of the tournament, you see? Yeah, he thought he, thought he won. Yeah, Will right. McKeon empty the clip <laughs> and, and he was like, or wave the white flag? <laughs> $1.2 in the pot. Oh. oh, my goodness. McKeon going for it. Firing flop, firing turn, 
all of it on the river. Can Kartumi find the call with the eights? If he does, he's our new chip leader. I just realized it's in here. It has almost everything I need. Wait, not at all yet. Uses that time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. I don't care what happens. This is absolutely heroic by Joe McKeon. Sets the tone early at this final table. If I got busier, I'd probably stop going. Just because it's small. Yeah, yeah. 10 seconds. What have you been doing? I walked on the treadmill last time I got home. Because I, like... Lays wow. it down. McKeon gets it done with just queen high. Right. Most of it from Hutter with the jack 10. 400,000. Well, we hear from Saliba for the first time. We will not. We haven't heard anything from Saliba. Not a word. We will hear from Joe McKeon here. Looks down at two kings. Barry Hutter is in a little bit of trouble. Oh. McGann just calls in the cutoff. McKeon just hoping somebody wakes up behind. Hopefully not with aces, and here we go. Hutter not quite all in yet. Still has 160K behind. And does flop a jack. He'll put his remaining chips in. He'll be snapped off by McKeon. And here we go indeed. Barry Hutter, the one all in and at risk. Looking for a jack or a 10 to get there against Joe McKeon's Kings. Ray said I was getting second, so I don't think I'm going to lose. I, I don't. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> But I mean, I had to be the one that doubled you up at least, right? I mean, McKeon looking to extend his chip lead. Hutter just looking to stay alive. No, he doesn't have two diamonds. I know. Eight diamonds, I'll I'm, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I, pre I prefer like the two of clubs. <laughs> Took my chance with Turn card. Cards. Yeah. It's a seven. Now it's probably a ten of clubs. Hutter needs a <laughs> jack <laughs> or a ten. To remain in this tournament. River card. It's another six. That'll do it for Barry Hutter. His second cash of the 2021 U.S. Poker Open finishes in seventh for $38,500. Nice showing. He's going to add some points to the U.S. Yeah, Poker Open we'll leaderboard. You should, you should tell in contention, yeah, Jeff, the Hutter butter. Here comes Justin Saliba. The king five of hearts. McKeon will make the call with the jack nine, and here we go. Saliba the one all in and at risk. First U.S. Poker Open cash for both Saliba and McKeon. Good luck, Justin. Thanks. Thanks, Ali. <laughs> Who are you rooting for? What are you rooting for? Yeah, what are you rooting for? Of course, for you. Thank you. <laughs> See, someone's got to root. Okay, I'll root for him. Is our rooting That's the flop. Is our rooting help? 10-3-3. Three, three. Three. Okay, Nothing my rooting is paying off so Seven. far. So far, so good for Saliba. Give me, a, give me, you give me the queen, because, you know, the king's no good anything. I think his eighth is better. Blocker. <laughs> Looking for at least a sweat on the turn. I can't be dead. That's the cool part. How about a nine ball on the turn? For Joe that was McKeon. Kind of one of the ones I was actually rooting for. <laughs> Max Payne on the river. Saliba needs a king and a king only to stay in this tournament. Now that's another three that'll do it for Justin Saliba out in sixth for 46,000.
two hundred dollars, and Brent just again. couldn't get anything going. Couldn't Never got get any cards. Going. Yeah, it unfortunate happens. tough sit table draw today, and his quest really in the high roller there, circuit though. continues. Yeah. As the former the collegiate athlete, well, University of Dayton, wanders Did off, maybe to register the next event, Jeff. Now I do believe is the time. Most of it. I have this. It's not all in. It's not all in. No, I'm not. It's not all in. I'm sorry. It's a red. It's okay. 375. Why would you lie to us like that? 375,000. You know, I'm used to beautiful women in Las Vegas lying to me, so it's nothing new. How much is it? It's funny because it's true. They always tell me the truth. Yeah, yeah. Ace nine for Zolotow. Not true. This is pretty brutal for Steve. I think he just has to put it in and see the bad news. Well, you don't have to cool. do anything, but he's going to do it. We'll call. So Schindler still has 15K behind. Still has chips behind, so don't expose your hand yet. Schindler in good shape here to find the double. I'm guessing neither one of us is folding. Probably not. Pretty safe guess, I would just say. Just check it down. Play friendly. <laughs> Queen Jack nine, both flop a pair. Salatow has that ace of hearts. Not much. Oh, you had me out kicked the whole way. Ah. No way to win this. Ten the king. He's got the Four hearts. Four nine. Yeah. <laughs> that's got two that's too you much there for him. You got the hearts. You got the backdoor chops. You got everything yeah. going for you. You got everything. Jake, Jake has the surviving thing going for him. So. Schindler, pretty sizable favorite here. You're in for a nine? Was well, Ace-Jack. Hold up. <laughs> Backwards nine. Holds on the turn. Salatown needs to spike a nine a to push Schindler. Or a diamond. River Court. It is a three. Jake Schindler doubles up. Surprise. Okay. Steve, you're Steve. still in. <laughs> yeah. It's off on break. All right, you know, fine. Just a, just a little tilt walk uh, for Stevie Z. He's got some work to do. Schindler with the Jack Nine of Diamonds. He's got eight big. Zolotow a little more than five. Out of 15k yeah. pay jump from fifth to fourth. I think Jake's gonna go with it, Jeff. It's always painful when you one of the opponents only has five bigs. This is his big blind next. Well, I think Jake is soaking that information up right now. He, thinking, man, maybe I just get off it now. Here it goes. Incoming. Raising for most of it. Nah. Keep it. Five ninety total. I don't know if I'm getting tricked here, but yeah, I'm all in. All in. All right, here we go. Cool. Schindler, the one all in and at risk Ooh. with the Jack Nine of Diamonds. It is Ace Ten for Aliyam Shurovich. Can Schindler find the double? I think it's up. I don't feel good. So I want to chop. I would love it, chop. <laughs> I don't feel good. Only here. about a 60 40 favorite. Well, I don't feel I'm, good. Here comes Ace 2 I'm, four I'm thinking when he did that against me at Ace Jack, against you, he has Jack 9. <laughs> There's a flop. 7 4 3 Ace, with one Ace, diamond. Backdoor flush draw. Diamonds? Diamonds that way. Backdoor straight Fuck draw that, for dude. Jake Schindler. <laughs> You gotta sweat or a could just spike a jack yeah, or a nine. I, I, eight, I hit the jack nine on the turn. Maybe Jake will too. Turn card. It's another seven. That one's good card one's for I'm sure of inch. It's something. And Schindler spike the jack what? or the nine to stay alive. <laughs> it's a king on the river. Say good game to Jake Schindler out in fifth for sixty-one thousand six hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. Just a guess, Brent. Yeah, maybe, we will see plenty more of Jake Schindler throughout uh, the USPL. You can bet your like, bottom you dollar that, that Jake Schindler will be in the mix for the duration of the U.S. Poker Open. Mm -hmm. Such a good player. Two hundred thousand total. 
to the normal opens for McKeon, considering I'm sure of it's just a chip stack. It's now the time. Okay. The answer is yes with the 9 5 of diamonds. Well, he's always been a big fan Almost of Dolly three. Parton. <laughs> Shervich out of the way, and no. here we go. Oh, please. <laughs> you might want to. <laughs> Steve Zolotow all in and at risk with the 9 5 of diamonds up I, against I Joe McKean's King 8. I say you got one of my diamonds. Oh, my bad. Sorry. It's okay. I'm rooting for you, Steve. Me too. I am too. I'm honestly I'm rooting for him too, <laughs> even though I want the jump. <laughs> no. Well, he, he's not your friend anymore. The three of us are rooting for you. He's not. <laughs> I'm not sure he was ever my. I'm not sure he was ever my. <laughs> McKeon and I'm sure of it's rooting for Zolotow. Race is not so much. King, King at Jack six. Very tough. Uh, gonna Seven. be difficult. Seven. No, you want the eight first. For okay. Zolotow. The eight first. Yeah. Is that those back door straight draws. Oh. Uh, okay. A king, though. Nice work, gentlemen. We'll make it impossible Play for well Zolotow to here. win this. Look. Have fun. Dead button. For the next one. I need to be on my three bet. Well, I'm next three bet. You well, while Zolotow yeah. gets on mic, we can chat about his too. second <laughs> yeah, U.S. Poker Open up. final table and his fourth place finish uh, for 77K. A uh, class act. Yeah. You got a lot of Stevie Z's full of it was, stories. A believer. I'm a believer. Oh, he limps in with the 8-7 of two, diamonds. 2.15. Ace 10 for McKeon. See, yeah, here we go. McKeon's just going to make a pretty standard kick it up to 350 with a great hand. And Ali has the sort of holding where he can go two ways. Could we ever limp jam with this stack size? Understanding Joe can be Call. very wide. Call. Or let's do this. It's pretty. Let's see three. Take a peek at the flop. And away we go. And here is that flop. It comes uh, king nine six. The open ended straight draw for Amshurovich. McKeon's ace high still best. Check, check. The turn card is the 10, and Ali buries it while McKeon turns a pair of 10s. Absolutely filthy stuff. McKeon was uninterested on the flop, and now all of a sudden likely feels obliged to want to continue. Bet a little bit more than half pot. Ian makes the call. 1.7 million in the middle. The river card is the queen. Something Ali certainly did not want to see. This is fascinating stuff right now. Is there a world in which McKeon could turn ace 10 into a bluff? Mm. 170. Oh my goodness. The door is now wide open. A blocker bet by Ali. Joe knows this is a bad card. Just one pair. Ace in his hand. Good for Ace Jack being the nuts as a blocker. Yeah. Ali betting 10% pot. McKeon using the time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're about to see something sick and twisted out of this young man from Philly. Does reach for those yellow 100Ks. 
and does make that move, turning his tens into a bluff, making it 925,000. Ali is absolutely sick about it. Despite getting three to one on his money, if he were to make this call, wondering why would he give me such a good price? And does no lay it down. Wow. What a performance today from Joe McKeon. That was hands down one of the best hands I have seen played at the U.S. Poker Open in its history, Jeff. Until you have. Straight. I swear. 8-7 of diamonds. Oh, that's straight. Okay. What yeah, a yeah. brutal river. <laughs> yeah, that is brutal. <laughs> brutal river indeed. I and a river that, that McKeon too. capitalized yeah, on. What do you have? See. Tell you, it doesn't matter, Jeff. Those guys can Lucky way. do whatever they want with their cards. McKeon knows what they have anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's fours for Khartoumi on the button. Smiles. He uh -oh. says the magic words. Uh, Liam Shurovich has ace nine in the small blind. Ten seconds. Using that time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Not in love with the spot, but I think ace nine, three handed given the stack size, is this dynamic. Just going to have to go with it. Put it in. Call. Call. Making the call. And here we go. Give me the load, dealer. Kartumi the one, all Give in and at risk. Ali has him slightly out chipped. Fours for Kartumi. East okay. nine for Amshurovic. Let's take four spades. Mm. Four spades and no pair board. What do you think of that? Uh, fours are for Ray and East Nine's over here. So we got three, four, five. I think like three, four, seven. <laughs> I'll just watch back here. Might be more fun. <laughs> Let's see the flop. That, really? is, that is actually. It was both cool. of you two. Yeah. It's side by side. Six, deuce, deuce. Right, I'll, now. I'll take my Jack Six back. I'll take my equity. <laughs> Good flop for Kartumi. Now you want that six to be a five. That'd be a good card for you. Turn card. Ooh. It's another six. Yeah, deuce and split it up. That seems fair. <laughs> I mean, I got you guys drawing dead, so the tournament's over. Good game, I called. <laughs> deuce would chop it up. Can Ali find an ace or a nine on the river three. to bust Kartumi? Ooh. Ray called Ooh. for the three. <laughs> and it was a three Ooh. on the river. Baby boy, let's do the sound dance. Eha! Okay, let's do it, baby boy. <laughs> the 10 6 right, off Ali. for Ali. It's all into the middle. McKean has jacks. Don't be greedy. There's some greedy. I hope I'm a hand you raise too, Ray. That much is true. All in. Oh wow, Kartumi oh shoves goodness. the snap call. Right, right. McKeon has jacks. Kartumi uh, has fives. All in three way. Put the wow. All in three way. Five, you want the 75 from everybody? Yeah, that makes the most sense. What a spot me the five. for the oh, champ yeah. from Philly, Joe McKeon. Joe could McKeon. it be over right here? He could win this tournament <laughs> if his jacks hold against the fives of Ray Kartumi. And the 10 6 of Ali Amshurovich. I, I come second, right? If I win the hand, if Ali wins the hand, then you get third. If I beat you and Ali beats both of us, oh. he's still. That is correct. I can laid it I'll out take perfectly. A 10 10 10 flop would be totally fine. I'll take a 5 of heart. I would love it. Yeah. I'll take 5 of heart. At least you give me the heart if you hit the 5. I'll take the heart. Ali could find a way to maneuver to a pay jump. It's going to be difficult. Oh Ace it, Jack Deuce. The five four. Ollie's got the king queen. Kartumi does have the five of spades. Backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. You're so fucking lucky, Joe. Oh, no, damn. I'm only playing good cards all day today, bro. Turn card. Okay. Is the Jack of spades? Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> How about quad <laughs> jacks to end it? Yeah. That's the kind of day it's been. 
for our champion, Joe McKeon. He gets all the bluffs through and just ends it on a banger with quads. Joe McKeon's first career U.S. Poker Open cash is a U.S. Poker Open win.